Clint says, you told me my 8-inch flue from my fireplace would work for your stove. Um, considering buying a new 6-inch flue, would you discuss flue size relative to firebox size? Yeah, Clint, absolutely. Um, so, great question. And so, um, in my experience and from what I've seen out there with other folks who've done the same, it's fine, typically, to go up a size in chimney. In other words, um, when we talk about a 6-inch system, we're usually saying that's designed for a six inch flue. The smallest part, the area where the most restriction is, needs to be in the combustion chamber. Um, just due to the way they work, that's where we want the area, that's where we want the highest velocity of gases, so we get the lowest pressure, so we get the most uh, turbulence and mixing and, and velocity and all those things. So we want the point of, of, of most restriction to be in the combustion chamber. And so because of that, it's really important that we maintain that flue system size everywhere downstream of that restriction that represents the narrowest point or the most restrictive point. However, we can go bigger and especially in the chimney, what I've found is that when you go bigger, all you do, now there's probably a limit to this, but going from six inch to eight inch, um, that's exactly what I did myself in my own conversion and I've seen it many times done successfully. What that does is that actually gives you more draw than you're able to pull through the restriction and in my experience that tends to work very well to provide adequate draft especially when you don't have much difference in temperature. We don't have much delta T because you have more volume of air. So if it's moving, it might not be moving at the same velocity but you've got volume moving up and that's going to create a very large suction on your intake side, which is exactly what we're looking for. So Clint, I would, you know, you did, you asked me and, and that's, I, I'm sure that was, I don't remember, but I'm sure that was very early in the, in the process. And so people will email me and say, my home has an eight inch chimney. Can I build one of your stoves? And, and I'm going to always say yes. And I've never seen that be a, a negative. So I don't think you need to, um, to be concerned with it, uh, but it. One of the reasons why I always um, encourage people to go with a six inch if they haven't, and so the other side of that question is I always get people saying, "I don't have a chimney. I'm looking at your stoves, but I want the one that makes the most heat, so I'm pretty sure I want an eight inch." Well, there's a whole lot of reasons that we don't go with eight inch. Uh, mostly just the physical size of the whole build gets so big. Um, but another is because the chimney parts become uh, not just prohibitively expensive, but they also become m more difficult to source uh, with regards to what options you have. And they also um, physically just, it becomes much more difficult to achieve some goals of having tight clearances in certain places by external bypasses all of those things blast gates for bypasses whatever it might be there's just you just get a lot more options when you uh when you use the six inch because it's eight inches while they're still i mean, wouldn't say they're you know they're uncommon they definitely are are becoming less you know far it's it's far less available materials for eight inch flu so just a few simple reasons there, but Clint, again, um, I think you'd be just fine building into your eight inch if that's what you chose to do. But I wouldn't discourage you from, you know, changing to an appropriate six inch either. It's your call. Um, I do feel performance wise, you'd be just fine. I would go six inch, you know, out to your eight inch and then just re and then just use a reducer. Uh, I guess it'd be a increaser because <laughs> since we're going backwards, but um, you just turn it around. <laughs> so. Uh, there you go. Hope that helps, Clint. I I, I do know that uh, that that stuff can be a little bit daunting sometimes. We have had a few success stories of people actually going the opposite way, which I don't necessarily recommend. And I believe maybe Tall Shadow is one of them. I could have that wrong. Um, but you you know we have some people who have actually done like eight inch cores into six inch chimneys. Um, I'm not you know I would never encourage that, but in the right situation. Oh, I remember who it was. It was my friend Mike, I believe, and I think he had a real tall masonry chimney that had would 
you know, would heat up and, and have intrinsic draft sort of built in um, that really helped it overcome what I saw as maybe a potential issue, but, you know, sometimes I'm wrong. So, <laughs> uh, but there you go, uh, Clint. Hope that helps. So-